Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video that's in the thumbnail now, I know some of you might have seen it before, you might be thinking, why is he uploading the same video twice again? Basically, I uploaded this video on my second channel and I thought the comments that I got from it were like really cool, like people telling me their opinions on why they like One Piece or why they like Dragon Ball Z or which videos are better, which videos are not. Do you know what I mean? So I really thought, like if I put it on this channel where obviously I have a more audience and more people can see it, I thought maybe we could have a, like a really good discussion in the comments where you can let me know if you like Dragon Ball Z or One Piece and then if it, if it went down well, maybe we can do like another video where someone else discusses or gives their point of view on uh, what animes that they like or which animes is better and then maybe we can have a discussion on that so please watch the video if you like it let me know let me down in the comments down below leave a like and subscribe to become a done today and i'll catch you man in a bit peace oh and enjoy the video so don't peace out just you know yeah okay bye hello everybody welcome back it's not even welcome back this is the first video of the second channel so welcome guys to the second channel today we are going to be reacting to dragon ball z versus one piece this is done by totally not mark and we're, we're about to find out what what he thinks is the is, is a better anime and what categories he's done to I guess predict or show us which which he's done. I'm guessing it's gonna be categories. I haven't seen this before, but I'm assuming he's gonna probably categorize it because that's what he kind of does in his videos uh originally. So let's get into this. Uh, before actually before we get into this, I'm gonna give you my opinion. I personally think one piece is better because and I will pause the video because this is this is a this is a reaction slash review. So yeah, I do think One Piece is better and in terms of like story building and character development and you know not leaving one character route and but every character plays a role in One Piece, like especially the, especially the Straw Hats. Whereas Dragon Ball Z, you have Vegeta, but Vegeta basically gets beaten up a lot. You have Yamcha's not really important. Tien's not really important. Who else is there? Um, Bulma's not really important. Goten's not really important. Gohan was important for white one arc, and then he kind of just fell off a bit. Um, so this is this. This is, this is a very long intro, I'm sorry, but how about, yep. Yeah, so this is my reaction slash review to Totally Not totally not Marks, Dragon Ball Z versus One Piece. Who's better? Let's decide together. Let me know down below what you think is better as well. Don't forget to leave the like button, subscribe to become a Don today, and welcome to Don Townsend Reacts. Let's go. Goku! Luffy! You son of a bitch! <laughs> New school That's a cool old intro. Old That's a cool intro. Dragon Ball or One Piece. Both of these you franchises have at one time or another carried Shonen Jump on their respective backs. Both have set yeah, records in their time true. and both are recognized the world over as juggernauts in their industry. But yeah, which one that is, is very better? True. And moreover, what makes me qualified enough to answer that question? Well, over the course of my career on YouTube, I've extensively covered the Dragon Ball franchise, he's gone through a dissecting lot. his themes, characters, and plot structures. And if you were to have asked me which one I preferred <laughs> one year ago, I would have said without hesitation, Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball. However, over the last year, something happened. What? He you watched One Piece, innit? Leave it there. Oh. Yeah. Fuck you. During 2020, I dedicated over half a year of my life to blitzing my way through over 1,000 chapters of Eiichiro Oda's One Piece it. arcs, characters, and I actually watched all of these, you know. And I actually watched all of these. Even one part of that long series, you'll no doubt have heard me say, One Piece's Alabasta arc is the best manga experience I've had in my entire yep. life. Yeah. My favorite installment so far. Best arc One Piece has. Okay, look, I know. He I said this a lot. He said, yeah, he said it a lot. He said it. A lot. Sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's absolutely incredible. <laughs> However, now that I've stepped away from the series and marinated on the topic for his a time, editing is amazing. Oh my god, I need to start editing like this. Comparison to explore. So grab some food, sit back, and get ready to I'm ready. the comments section because Look today I will be comparing it. two of the most legendary shonen stories to have ever made their way to the West. Today I try. Before we get into this, let me know who do you think's better. Before you watch this as well, let me know down below who do you think's better, One Piece or Dragon Ball Z, and your reasons why. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Try to answer the age-old question, which is better? That's a cool One picture. Piece oh wow. Dragon Ball. Gamu Gamu no. Ooh, this looks sick. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. That was sick. Right, I'm actually excited for this. Okay. Dragon Ball versus One Piece. Let's get it. Let's get it. In the red corner, a returning champion standing strong with 519 chapters to its name. 519? Is that it? I thought we'd have a lot more. Made my G, you know. We have Toriyama's 1980s martial arts adventure manga, Dragon Ball. And in the blue corner, the current reigning champion with a remarkable 1,005 chapters and counting to its name. There's a lot of chapters. Hat, that's all that. We have eight uh, orders, modern Why is he a fish? Manga, <laughs> One Piece. Let's Which go. is better? 
Well, first of all, we gotta figure out what does better mean. Okay. One property could have better characters, while another has better visuals or story or sales, etc. Yeah, so I knew, I knew he'd do categories. To which of these sits atop this mountain? For me, I have to devise a list of topics for each franchise to battle within. Okay. So let's begin. Sales. Where better to start this entirely subjective contest than with an objective metric? Right. Total worldwide manga sales figures. Manga yeah. sales are something that are easily measured, and in this instance, the numbers do not <laughs> lie. One Piece comfortably sits atop this mountain as the best-selling manga series ever created. That is true. However, it did so after dethroning Dragon Ball, who oh, had up until like I did not notice. Been at the top spot for well over a decade. Damn. And even as I write this, Dragon Ball, despite having finished 480 in 1986, is still, still in the number two spot right beneath One Piece. That's but impressive. you might be thinking, One Piece has been in serialization for over 20 years, and that's sort of an unfair advantage if you consider the fact that Dragon Ball's lifespan was only 11. Was so, it only in 11? Words, in order to see which was truly the best seller of its time, Let's see how 11 years of One Piece sales stack up when compared to the 11 years of Dragon Balls. Okay. And the results to this were honestly shocking. Really? Mostly because no one seems to know when One Piece <laughs> overtook Dragon Ball. <laughs> this monumentally important moment right, in look at Nami. history seems to have been lost to the webs of time. Really? People always say One Piece is the highest selling manga and that it overtook Dragon Ball to achieve that, but no one seems to know I broke when it happened. Wham. It just happens sometime vaguely between 2005 and 2015, I guess. Oh, okay. This wasn't good enough. I'm surprised about that. sold more, and to be honest, at this point, I wanted to try to figure this out for the internet. Okay. And I did find an answer, eventually. This oh, took God. over five hours of research <laughs> through weird translation websites, the asking of admins of various Bro, he fan went sites, to and detail. I even scoured through the web for oh my articles God. on the topic dating back as far as 2010. Damn. Spoiler alert, there weren't any. Thanks to the weird Japanese translation website, I was able to learn that by the year 2000, Dragon Ball had sold over 126 million copies That's of its That's a lot. Manga. This means that it had sold less than that by the time it ended in 1996. And okay. since One Piece started in 1997, now all I needed to do was find the late 2000s total worldwide sales figures for One Piece. Right, This okay. proved to be near impossible. There was an ocean of articles talking about seemingly every other achievement or milestone that One Piece oh, attained, look how amazing but not this looks. the achievement. For some reason, no one was talking about this. <laughs> I had honestly no idea why no one ever documented this information. Yeah, I'm surprised by that as well. I'm surprised by that. That's, that sounds weird. In my despair, weird. as a last stage effort, I sent out a tweet to all of you. To be frank, I was ready to scrap the May video in time. March 7th, okay. But then, amidst the dozens of questionable sources sent my way, one very old web domain was submitted. It was from 2008, exactly 11 years after One Piece was released. Oh, Hence, mad. shaking in anticipation, I frantically scrolled down the page, past all the <laughs> useless information, and then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw it. Oi! I swear, if my fiance wasn't sitting right next to me as I write this, I'd tell you all that this was the single most beautiful thing I've uh. ever seen in my life. And I have this fine individual to thank. Some heroes don't wear capes. No, they read. I Breezy Bird. Breezy you're doing bird. God's work. You done it. You done it, my guy. Puzzle, Played. I could then confirm, I think perhaps for the first time on YouTube, it feels like, and definitively say that One Piece dethroned Dragon Ball in 2009. Mad, but more okay. Not only has One Piece sold more than Dragon Ball, but it also did so in a much shorter span of time. No in 11 way. Years, Dragon Ball managed to sell somewhere under 126 That's million copies. That's still a lot. Copies, How much did One Piece do? at the same do? time, One Piece sold 140 million. I you heard it here first, folks. Hold tight, order on One Piece. Come on. One Piece. Come on, you're the five. The story. Uh, Dragon One Piece is one this. I'm sorry, One Piece is one this. of the Shonen realm, but there's only room for one true king pause, sorry. in terms of... One Piece... Alright, the reason why I say that is because Dragon Ball Z has a very basic story. And as much as you man, you man might be like, no, 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 it's amazing. Don't get me wrong, Dragon Ball Z story is amazing, but it's sim it's very simple. Do you know what I'm saying? You could you can jump into Dragon Ball Z at any point and kind of understand what's going on. That's not a bad thing, but whereas... One Piece has a story where the plot progress over time. Do you know what I'm saying? So, for example, like, Warno, for example, you had Zoe, you had Punk Hazard, you had Dress Rosa, that all built up to why Warno is now one of the best arcs in One Piece. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas Dragon Ball Z, you kind of have... Cell Saga was amazing, don't get me wrong, but you only have, like, a little bit of episodes that build up to it. Whereas with One Piece, you have arcs, 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 sub-arcs that build up to... They're amazing. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is why I think One Piece has 
completely one this. And if he picks Dragon Ball Z, then I'm going to be bamboozled. I've never even used the word bamboozled, bamboozled before, so I don't even know why. But this is what I'm going to go with. Sorry, let's get back into the video. ...of story. So, what makes a good shonen story? Right, The okay. answer, for me, it's growth. Whether that be through high seas adventure or yeah. fighting across the galaxy, shonen predominantly, I think, is best described as growth through conflict. And while yeah, physical okay. conflict often takes the lead within these narratives and shonen storytelling, they are stories first and foremost. So, yeah. how does One Piece measure up to Dragon Ball in that respect? Dragon Ball's narrative remains largely straightforward with its moments of interest coming from character interaction and choices. It explores interesting themes through characters like Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Gohan, among okay. many others, and has produced some of the cornerstone moments in anime culture as a whole. For me, the strongest stretch in the series spans from the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai up until the climax to the Frieza and Goku fight. There are okay. a lot of great moments both before and after this, but for me, the writing in the series was always at its strongest during this portion. The dialogue I... was quippy, the motivations were strong, and it's one brilliant and iconic scene after the next. However, with that said, One Piece has been ongoing for over 20 years and is still producing top tier material top today. Top quality. I'm even of the opinion that the current arc of One Piece, Wano, is in the running for the best arc the series I told has you. ever produced. I told you! I said it! I said it! I recently looked back over the reviews I made for One Piece. It's remarkable yeah. how often the show would surprise me and how brilliant Oda is for planting seeds <laughs> I, and structuring how Oh my god, exactly, exactly. Toriyama famously didn't did not do that. Do he didn't. He really did, didn't. Instead, opting to make it up as he went. Did One he actually Piece do does have its low points, I did not know that. Taking them into consideration, putting them side by side, there's way, way more going on it's on a narrative still level better. in the world. Oda than created. Dragon Ball. I yeah, love exactly. Dragon Ball's story, but in this case, it's not even close. No, nah, uh, thank you. Okay. Dragon Ball, as it did a lot of amazing things, but One Piece has set a whole new okay. standard. Okay, I 100% agree with you. I gotta give the point to One Piece. I 100% agree visuals. with that. While the story makes up a massive portion of most shonen, many are often defined Does he mean by anime or manga? Their action set pieces and visuals. It's and looking now like that it's I manga. I'm a reviewer of sorts. One of my biggest fears when picking up a new manga to critique is that. So I'm gonna actually gonna stop this every time he announces a new category. So I just wanna give my opinion and then see what he says after instead of giving it after. So with visuals, I've never actually seen uh, the Dragon Ball Z manga. I've only ever seen the anime. So I can't really say. So my opinion would be very biased if I was just to pick one piece over this one. I'm gonna say neutral and kind of just hear what he has to say. Let me know what you think for each category that comes up as well. The visuals, the um, the the the. the the manga, like sellings, and the story, the story itself in the anime. So let me know what you guys think as well. Let's go. And its layouts and artwork will prove to be less helpful and more of an obstruction standing in the way of me understanding the story. Manga is a visual medium first and foremost, and if you don't make use of the visuals, you may as well have written a book, in my opinion. People right. read their manga for vastly different reasons. However, you... for me, I hold paneling, clarity, and art in extremely high regard. I, I yeah, I'm kind of the same. Times actually. in almost all of my reviews, Dragon Ball is for me a gold standard in this department. If, if this is the manga, this looks amazing. I'm not going to lie to you. It, I highly recommend opening a random page from the series to observe how easy it is to Look get sucked into it. Look how crisp it looks. While Akira Toriyama wasn't as standout as One Piece on a narrative level, from a yeah. visual and layout standpoint, I'd consider Akira Toriyama a genius. The sense of suspense, energy, rhythm, and pacing he managed to inject into his work is something I miss most from modern manga. And while Eiichiro Oda's paneling, particularly towards the beginning, was great, as this series yeah. went on, the panels, instead of enhancing the story, became more and more of an obstacle for me that got in the way of engaging with the story during many okay. sections I did, of Okay, I personally haven't noticed and that myself, but that all right. this isn't a bias for Dragon Ball shining through here either. While I heavily yeah. praise the original run of Dragon Ball for its layouts, I also heavily criticize Dragon Ball Super. That actually looks amazing, well I can't lie to you. As well as the deterioration in layouts towards the end of the series in the Boo Saga. However, yeah. even taking all of that into consideration, much hey, the same way it was the contest for One Piece in the story department, Dragon Ball easily takes a point okay. in this round. Okay, alright. Love One Piece. Alright, that's fair Dragon enough. Ball, even outside of this contest, I haven't, I haven't seen the manga, the but this, look, this does look good, I've I can't lie to you, in terms of visuals. Alright, it's an advert. I'll be back. It's not even a break. I'll just skip straight away. Oh! oh. <laughs> Main characters. One of the most surprising aspects for Oh, me okay. Again, like I said, I'm going to pause it. Everything. I know I, I know you might not like that, but I feel like it's, it, it has to be done. I want to get my opinion across. Oh, no. Main characters is more like Luffy and Goku, right? So, okay. 
I'm going to say Luffy simply just because Goku has a lot of flaws as a character. For example, he will disappear for a very long time without talking to his family. And you remember, do you remember in the Cell Saga where he gives, um, where he gives Cell the Sensu Bean? And you think to yourself, why would you do that? You were struggling against him. Why would you give the Sensu Bean to your own son, putting your own son at more risk? That doesn't make sense. And that's why, that's where... Drag, like that's where Goku's flaws come up against. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like don't get me wrong, Goku and Goku and uh, Luffy have a lot of characteristics together, but I feel like Goku has a lot more drawbacks. Does that make sense? If you if you kind of get what I'm saying, so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Luffy on this one. I, I would love to see what he thinks. And yeah, sorry, let's carry this on. This video was how definitive I felt about almost every topic when it came okay. to sales, story, and visuals. All of these aspects I had come to a conclusion on prior. I just needed yeah, to formulate I mean, my thoughts more kind of clearly himself. on them. However, this one yeah. was by far the most difficult section to both articulate my feelings on and ultimately make a decision for. I'll still go this with is Luffy. probably due to the nostalgic nature I hold Dragon Ball in and how impressive and likable I found One Piece to be last year. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, had to fair. make a decision and with a heavy conflicted heart I have to give this one to One Piece's Luffy. But before I you agree. set my channel I agree. on fire allow me to explain myself. One Piece okay. is directly inspired by Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball and because of this didn't know both that. Luffy and Goku share a ton of traits in common with each other both from the True. energy they exhibit in pursuing their goals to their tenacity and their love for their friends they definitely have more in common than they have aspects that are distinct if you ask me however in the small ways that they are different i managed to formulate my decision through interviews okay. akira toriyama has come out and saying that a fundamental piece of goku's personality that people often don't recognize is the small but very present poison in his character this is the what aspect is of poison? goku's personality that will lead him to pursue the story in a really fun and interesting ways however it will also oftentimes lead him to pursue dangerous circumstances in lieu of a much more safe and stable life for his family and friends. He will give a yeah. sense of being to sell. He will stay dead for longer to get more training in. He will routinely yeah, that's true as well. alienate himself from his family and friends in search of better fights. Yeah. The ending yeah. of Dragon Ball's original run, while I thought it was fitting for the series, still felt strange to discover that Goku didn't keep in touch with almost anyone in his life. And for me, really? that aspect of his personality can be frustrating or disillusioning at times. Yeah, Luffy, I agree, on the I other agree. hand, doesn't share this trait at Would all. Would never. Instead, to keep ever do that and to yes reach his goal too and i think if you were to ask luffy to choose between never seeing his friends again and becoming easy a pick the pirates, for luffy he'd make easy the decision pick. without even thinking however when it exactly. comes to goku if you asked him to choose between seeing his friends again and a fight with the strongest person in the universe i really think he'd have to think about it for a second as a character i wonder goku, who would actually I pick is i actually wonder who offers would a nuance that still escapes many of the modern writers today in super and its manga however on numerous occasions luffy has demonstrated a straightforward purity that has moved me to tears more times I, than I can oh my god for that it, reason yes. as well as what I've said here I have to give the point to Luffy I so far He's cracking characters. it he's absolutely cracking it Unlike the last section Ooh. this one was actually quite easy Dragon Okay Ball not Okay supporting characters um oh this is this is, for me this is quite sticky because whereas Vegeta Piccolo TN who else is there Yomcha Krillin Gohan um, trunks, they all play a part in the story so to support Goku, but they never really like they never take a shine. Do you know what I'm saying? They there's never they there's never really like a high moment for them. Whereas One Piece, you will get Zoro, you will get Sonji, you will get Jinbei, you'll get Nama, you'll get Usopp, you'll get Chopper to have a a good battle. For example, let's say Annie's lobby. You had Luffy shape, uh, fight Rob Lucci. You had Zoro fight the giraffe. I can't remember the guy's name. The giraffe sort of devil fruit person. And that fight was amazing. You had Sanji fight the bubble woman. Again, I'm not I, names are gone for me. Um, but you, then you also had Sanji fight the wolf. And then you had Nomi fight the bubble, the bubble woman. So it's like for me, the fights with One Piece and the side and the sorry side characters are more impactful and more um just like they're just, they just they do something they don't just get beaten up for luffy to come and save the day do you know what i mean they they actually have their own presence hence the reason why like their bounties go up they're they you know what i'm saying like zoro, zoro uh, sanji's bounties go up jinbei's bounties go up chopper well but it doesn't really go up so now he i think it's only like 100 berries but usov god usov nami do you know what i'm saying they have they have a relevancy to the, to the whole story. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to go with uh, One Piece for this one.
I'm going to go with side characters of One Piece. I don't really think Dragon Ball Z characters really play that much of a part. Like, they only play a part to, to tell you how, how strong the enemy is so then Goku can come and beat them up. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yes. Only Let's some go. terrific supporting characters, but also has some of my favorite characters in all of fiction. Piccolo, Bulma, Gohan, Vegeta, Tenshinhan, Mr. Satan. All of these are I forgot about Mr. Satan. Play and offer vastly different dynamics to the story at large. However, Dragon Ball is let down in one fundamental aspect, and that's that the supporting cast a lot of the time either becomes irrelevant or they become something that offers less. Yes, within the yes, yes. Story. One yes. piece, on the other hand, has arcs of story dedicated to each of the Straw Hat pirates it, as each arc. Oh, exactly. So, in I didn't even, I didn't even bring that up. Oda goes to tremendous lengths to not only include these characters consistently, but also makes them essential and fundamental aspects to the victory yes, of Luffy. Yes, yes, yes. In them, over exactly. one thousand chapters later, and characters like Zoro, Nami, Usopp, and Sanji are all still just as crucial today as they were back then. Perhaps even more. Yes. So. And that is something I can absolutely not say for the likes of Yamcha, I, Tenshi, yeah, and you Piccolo. Unfortunately, <laughs> you this really can't. You really piece. can't. I think I like some of the. Thank you. Characters a little Thank more you. in Dragon Ball, but overall, One Piece dominates this section. It really the does. Villains. It really does. I Where agree. One Piece's conflicts Ooh, are strong. Villains. I, I, I like One Piece villains in this. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. One Piece villains are good. Like, you had um, uh, Crocodile, who was good. Who I know he's on the screen now, so I brought him up. But yeah, Crocodile, who was good. Doflamingo, who was who was a amazing villain, top quality. You also have the World Government. You also have Blackbeard. Um, and who else is there? And you know, some of the, I can't really remember too tough, but I think when it comes to villains, I'm gonna go with Dragon Ball Z in this one because when you like, I remember every Dragon Ball Z villain Freezer, uh, Freezer, Cell, Boo, Vegeta when he was a villain, Piccolo when he was a villain. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like their, their, their villains have a bigger impact onto the anime, whereas, whereas One Piece villains are good, don't get me wrong. But they're not as impactful as the Dragon Ball Z villains. So I'm gonna go with Dragon Ball Z for this one. Only defined and spawn from how Luffy and his crew deal with the circumstances brought on by their respective villains, Dragon Ball is yeah. practically defined by its villains. With each subsequent fight yeah, even yeah. forming the name of that given saga of the story. The Saiyan saga, the Frieza saga, the Cell oh, saga, yeah. etc. One piece I, has some I amazing antagonists and villains like Blackbeard and the world government, but those are still yeah, very yeah, much yeah, yeah, yeah. quantities at this moment. So for that reason, That's I will true. omit them in this conversation. However, <laughs> I said no. in my decision. <laughs> It's still the same. My favorite villains from the world of One Piece are the likes of Arlong, Enel, Crocodile, and Doflamingo. I forgot. These oh are my... all great in their yeah, own Yeah, Doflamingo. Respects, I forgot about Arlong. Arlong was good. To the likes of Piccolo, Vegeta, Frieza, and yeah. Cell, a clearer picture yeah, starts to yeah. emerge. One Piece's villains a lot of the time are quite complex and Kaido. a lot in the way of their narrative. However, if I go off which I would be more excited to see, Crocodile or Frieza, Enel or Vegeta, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer. Obviously, like everything else, it all boils down to personal preference, but in my opinion, the point has to go to Dragon Ball Z, for it? having the better Yeah, movies. yeah. I agree with that impact. one. I do agree with that when one. When it comes to domestic Ooh. Japanese... Okay, this one I have absolutely no idea. But at the same time, I'm going to edge with Dragon Ball Z because I'm, I am going to give an answer. The reason why I say Dragon Ball Z is because everyone knows about Dragon Ball Z. Whether if you know anime, whether you don't know anime, whether if you're a new anime fan, you already know about Dragon Ball Z. Like The person who told me about Dragon Ball Z was my dad's mum. Like, she watched Dragon Ball Z and I remember we used to go to her house and I used to sit there and watch Dragon Ball Z with her. And she's like, she was a 40 at the time. And no, maybe probably a bit older than 40. I don't even know. I can't remember what age she is now. But that's that's how I found out about Dragon Ball Z. So I feel like everyone or majority of people, anime, manga fan or not, you know about, you've heard of Dragon Ball Z once or twice in your life. Do you know what I mean? So I know One Piece is huge, but I, I still think I'm going to edge Dragon Ball Z for this one. I'm going to edge Dragon Ball Z cultural impact without question one piece is king in 2015 i went to japan with my friends to see the place for the very first oh, time wow and upon arriving i was absolutely oh, blown wow. away by how much one piece stuff there was yeah i need to hear up japan you know friends of mine have traveled to the middle of nowhere rural japan and have found figurines of luffy that's so cool around. to say one piece is this advert japan have you not seen this like advert this is amazing in the Amazon. this is it's an amazing advert understatement however when we leave the sheltered shores in the land of the rising sun and venture into the wider world dragon ball squashes one piece i thought so wait is that real 
To help put it into perspective, that Dragon Ball that's not is real. So I can't believe I don't believe that's real. ubiquitous globally that the only other Japanese properties to do better than it on a world stage are the likes of Hello Kitty, Mario, and Pokemon. There's a Everyone knows Pikachu. Goku was chosen as the main ambassador for the 2020 Olympic Games over the likes of Naruto, Sailor Moon, Mario, was he? and even Luffy himself. The broad and far-reaching appeal that's of the actually Dragon Ball mad. franchise that's actually is something mad. that can okay. be felt yeah, I was right. Dragon whether Ball it be referenced in popular internet videos, what is parades, that? American cartoons, oh, that looks lyrics, sick. or even, as I said, the Olympic Games. Both yeah, that's mad. You can't beat that. Yeah, fair play. Fair Dragon play. Ball fair gets play. the definitive win in the cultural impact section. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that one. One of the drawbacks what does he to mean by that? the One Piece story is, is how involved it can be. Which is often oh. the reason why many are afraid to jump into the adventure. At oh, okay, okay. I get what he means by accessibility now. Again... I think I said this earlier in the video. I actually can't remember. I feel like I did some, say something about this. Again, I'm going to go with Dragon Ball Z. Because like I said, I think I said this at the beginning. You can jump into Dragon Ball Z at any given chapter. Do you know what I mean? You can jump into it and you can kind of um, understand what's happening. Whereas with One Piece, you have to you have to kind of watch several other arcs, mainly. I am guess I'm just using Warner, for example, because it's the most recent one. You have to kind of watch it to get the full experience of what's going on, which isn't a bad thing in my point of view, because I'm not going to lie to you. There are, But I guess that's what stops people from watching One Piece, because it's like, oh, 900 chapters. Oh, man. That's long, 500, oh man, over a thousand manga, nah, that's long, do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like with Dragon Ball Z, I've never really heard that, I've never really heard someone tell me, oh yeah, I don't want to get Dragon Ball Z, it's too long, it's too long. But then again, they do have like Dragon Ball Z Kai, and which I believe is a shorter version of Dragon Ball Z, like they skip a lot of stuff, but I think I will go for... I think I'm gonna go for Dragon Ball Z for this one. If it, if it, if it if it's what I'm if it's what I'm talking about, if it's not you won't see this in the video. But if it's what I'm talking about, then I'm gonna go for Dragon Ball Z. If it just means like the simplicity of the anime and for you to jump into it straight away at any given time, I'm gonna go for Dragon Ball Z because you can't really do that with One Piece. You kind of have to start from a certain point to understand Wagwan in this in this thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So Dragon Ball Z. First, while I was working on reviewing the series, one of the main complaints about Enterprise starting and jumping yeah, into everyone says that. be. It's yeah. fantastically well structured and paced. However, I can see where they are coming yeah. from in some respects. But funnily enough, while Dragon Ball is also another long-running anime and manga, I never I've heard actually never that heard that either. I agree. Touted for them. On the contrary, Dragon Ball story is touted as being it is, it is. simple yeah. and easy to follow along with. Yes, exactly. Oh my I God, think my that's one of the biggest secrets <laughs> to its success. One can jump in anywhere in the story. Yes. And that's exactly what I said. Friend, whereas in One Piece, a lot of the events are very much plot driven and satisfying moments depend heavily on factors that were established yeah. earlier in the story. Think Arlong Park with Nami. That scene with Luffy wouldn't hit nearly as hard if you didn't yeah, already yeah, know yeah, what yeah. happened in the story. I didn't even think prior. of that. However, I didn't think of that. I was thinking more like Warner. The standoff with Vegeta is so simple to understand that hopping on becomes possible for both. I say to a certain extent, life. but yeah. My dad got caught up in it and he didn't even know what really? anime was. And it was during this time too when I first started watching the series. Like most people in the West, I jumped in halfway through the series and loved yeah, that's it all true. the same. Some of you out there might be saying that accessibility isn't important. However, I think it's hard to discredit it because in reality, how accessible something is plays a large role into its ultimate success in connecting with yeah. people around the world. And when you compare Dragon Ball's wide appeal worldwide with One Piece's, it becomes obvious which one wins this section. Dragon Ball yeah, I agree with that one. Here. I and do with agree that, with that one. We have a tie. You can't four leave it on a tie, though. Ball, There's no way. For one piece. This okay, can't okay, end okay. In a tie, and so I needed a tie break. I decided to, instead of creating another topic for these guys to be compared in, earlier this week, I decided to post two polls to see which okay. one you all right. preferred. One on my Twitter, and another on my YouTube channel, and between them, over 100,000 okay. votes were cast. So, before we reveal which one is better, I want you guys to let me know what you think is better, who you think is better. Why and now? Why and how? Why and why? Like, why do you think Dragon Ball Z or One Piece is better? And let me know why. By fans across the globe. And the winner was... Let's go. 
Oh, it won it by a lot. This time, but I think that's going to be something that's ever Damn. changing between them. This is, after all, a property that has both an anime and manga yeah. currently in circulation. However, yeah, yeah. even in saying that, for these two titans of the industry to contend so feverishly with one another shouldn't be held as a slight to either, but instead a testament to how fantastic and fundamentally brilliant both of these yeah, franchises true. truly it's are, true. and how much everyone seems to love and respect them. In the past, I've gone on the record during various podcasts stating that I think that comparing these is almost impossible, that they're just too different, and while on some level are similar and occupy yeah. the same industry, both try to achieve extremely different things with vastly different approaches. Oh yeah, that was sick. Phase. I remember that. But I decided to ignore that and make this video because I thought Yeah, it no, it was. it was. I had fun. And in the end, One Piece won thanks to the popularity. That's what I think. Yeah, it did. That's what I said. However, That's what, exactly ago, what I said. Oh, I'm smart, you know. Standard for Come Japanese on. Storytelling, and today, it looks like this. Our standards for what qualifies as better are constantly changing. But it raises an interesting question, I think, for me to leave okay. you with today. In 25 years, after one piece is finished will it still be as popular as Ooh. it is now? will it have the same staying power that dragon ball that's a good have? question Only time will tell but until then i've been hey and thank, thank you no so thank you tony Mark, for this amazing video i'm not gonna lie to you that is a very 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 important that's a that's a good question will drag will will one piece still uphold the same sort of level that dragon ball z does after finishing do you know what i mean i feel like that there okay what do you guys think? Do you guys think that would happen? Do you guys don't think what happened? Let me know down below. Um, obviously, thank you so much, Mark, for this video. Obviously, I'm going to put uh, the original video down below about me talking because I took, I took a lot in this one. But this is what this kind of this is what this second channel is kind of going to kind of going to be about. Um, so I hope you don't mind it. I hope you kind of enjoy it. Let me go if your feedback. Let me know if I talk too much in this one. I just want to give you my opinion because it is a reaction slash review as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love this video and i'm going to probably try and do more of it um so but yeah let me know if you have any suggestions that you want me to do put them down in the comments down below thank you very much for subscribing to the new channel and i know it's an inconvenience because everyone's just kind of we find we've we've almost hit 2,000 subs on the main channel so thank you so much and yeah i'll leave my main channel in the description as well you can sub to that if you're not if you if you're new to this channel if you're new to the don if you're new to the don towns and empire i was even an empire but you know what i'm saying but I really do appreciate every single one of you. Just like, comment, and subscribe and to this channel. So thank you very much. Please keep up the support. I really do appreciate it. And thank you, Tony, not Mark. His link will be in the description below. Um, like like this video if you enjoyed it. Press that, press that subscribe button to comment on today. And I'll catch you, man, in a bit. Peace.